sloth, suborder Falavora, tree-dwelling mammal noted for its slowness of movement. All six living species are limited to the lowland tropical forests of South and Central America, where they can be found high in the forest canopy sunning, resting, or feeding on leaves. Although two-toed sloths, family Magal or Nikidae, are capable of climbing and positioning themselves vertically, they spend almost all of their time hanging horizontally, using their large hook-like extremities to move along branches and vines. Three-toed sloths, family Bradypotidae, move in the same way but often sit in the forks of trees rather than hanging from branches. Sloths have long legs, stumpy tails, and rounded heads with inconspicuous sears. Although they possess color vision, their eyesight and hearing are not very acute, orientation is mainly by touch. The limbs are adapted for suspending the body rather than supporting it. As a result, sloths are completely helpless on the ground unless there is something to grasp. Even then, they are able only to drag themselves along with their claws. They are surprisingly good swimmers. Generally nocturnal, sloths are solitary and are aggressive toward others of the same sex. Sloths have large multi-chambered stomachs and an ability to tolerate strong chemicals from the foliage they eat. The leafy food is digested slowly, a fermenting meal may take up to a week to process. The stomach is constantly filled, its contents making up about 30% of the sloth's weight. Sloths descend to the ground at approximately 6-day intervals to urinate and defecate, see sidebar, a moving habitat. Physiologically, sloths are heterothermic, that is, they have imperfect control over their body temperature. Normally ranging between 25 and 35 degrees Celsius, 77 and 95 degrees Fahrenheit, their body temperature may drop to as low as 20 degrees Celsius, 68 degrees Fahrenheit. At this temperature the animals become torpid. Although heterothermicity makes sloths very sensitive to temperature change, they have thick skin and are able to withstand severe injuries. All sloths were formally classified in the same family, Bradypotidae, but two-toed sloths have been found to be so different from three-toed sloths that they are now classified in a separate family, Megalonychidae. Three-toed sloths.